Good morning, Facebook family and friends. This is Pastor Janet with a little message of inspiration for this morning. You know, I was reading today one of my favorite portions of scripture about Elijah and Elisha and how Elisha never left Elijah's side even though he knew he was going to be taken away. We have to have that determination. You know, in the old times, Bible times, God went before the children of Israel with a cloud by day and a fire to lead them by night. Then once they got into the promised land, glad, he no longer did that. And it came to the point what they had to do for themselves. You know, it comes to a point, we have to be like Elisha. We have to want God so badly that nothing is going to turn us aside from him. Nothing. No matter what, Elisha stayed with Elijah until he was separated from him by the fiery chariot that came down and took Elijah away. We have to be like that, that nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus. Nothing can separate us our, in, in our hearts. Nothing in this world can separate us. Regardless of what's happening, what we see in this world, we have to remember that Jesus is the one that we are living for. Jesus is the one who died for us. and Jesus is the one whose love abides in us. We, we should share that love with all that we meet. There's nothing going to change the world but love. The world is seeking love. Everyone is looking for love. But they're looking in all the wrong places. We need to lead them to the person who is love ultimate, and that's Jesus Christ. So today, make sure you tell someone today about Jesus. They need it so badly. This whole world needs it. That's what all the dissension and the get. You know, people think that if they get money, they're gonna, you know, they've got all the power, then they'll be loved. It doesn't work. And then they think that if they have all the women, have all the booze, have all the drugs. It still doesn't work because nothing can satisfy our souls or our hearts but Jesus Christ. So just remember that today. Share the love of Jesus. And remember, we're going to say it in sign language. Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye-bye now. It's Pastor Janet.